show. What's up? 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 Hi everyone. Welcome to What's Up. I am Jaden Wakwa, and today we are here at Minuteman Airfield in Stowe, Massachusetts. And today we are going to interview the owners of Adirondack Aviation. So, what are your names? My name is Michelle Smith, and I'm co-owner of Adirondack Aviation. I'm Mike Wolford, and I'm the flight instructor at Adirondack Aviation. And how did you start Adirondack Aviation? Well, actually, I was originally a student of Mike's. Uh, I began my flight training with him during COVID. And I loved it so much that I left my position as head of school to begin this new academy with him because I love flying, and I think it's really a great opportunity for young people to begin to learn to fly. And um, which one of you decided on the name? Michelle picked the name. I think it was collaborative. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, why did, uh, why did you pick such a unique name? If, like. So I'll let Mike answer that question. So we're from the Adirondacks, which is in Lake Placid, New York, upstate New York. That's where the Adirondack Park and our name came from. Nice. And what are the Adirondacks? Those are uh, the mountains up uh, in northern New York that are protected from development and they are home to the high peaks which are 46 mountains that hikers come from all over the United States to to climb and hike and stand on top of. Nice and um, last two questions. How many hours um, have you guys accumulated? Of total flight time? Yes. Uh, with the aircraft that you'll be flying in today, I believe I'm, um, Mike can help me with that, but I believe we are at about uh, 1,500 hours. Is that correct? That's right. About 1,500 hours of flight time since we purchased the airplane and started flight instructing with it. And how many hours of non-instructed flight time? You, you're talking about ground school? Uh, yes. Like, uh, I mean, like solo flights, if you've done it. Solo flying for students or for us? For you. I have about uh, 50 hours of solo time. And I have flown this airplane about 150 hours all by myself, doing one thing or another with it. Nice. And um, what are your social media? So we have at Adirondack Aviation on Instagram and also on Facebook. And you can find us at www.adirondackaviation.com. Um, anything else you guys like to add for your flight school? We are all about teaching young people how to fly. That doesn't mean that we don't uh, welcome all all aviators, but we feel that it's really, really important uh, to introduce this to people your age. Um, and begin that movement forward. We're a full service flight school that functions like all other flight schools, but what we specialize in is teaching kids how to fly. And one of our subspecialties is taking kids and grooming them, preparing them for a career as professional aviators. And we have a special emphasis on young girls because the industry right now has a very low percentage of women professional aviators. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching What's Up. My name is Jaden Wakwa. See you next time. Yep. And so these are other gauges that tell you, these are your, like your gas gauges, your fuel gauges. And this tells you about your oil temperature and oil pressure and your fuel pressure, just to make sure that all systems are working well. So this one means if we're going over here, we're going too fast. Going too fast. But if we're here, then we're fine. If we're in the green arc right there in the green, green means good. But if we're in the yellow, that's that bad. means... That's bad. This is one of our super safe hands. I've been flying for 45 years. I used to fly corporate jets, airliners, all of it.